Okay, um, looking at uh, hip roofs, uh, in particular Dutch roofs, there's a couple of things that we can do. Uh, the first thing, uh, I want to look at the multi-plane roof, and you can certainly do this with single-plane roofs, uh, but in this case, I'm just going to draw something in here that's, uh, let's see, 50 by 20, and there's my standard hip roof. Um, now, if we want this to, um, to have a pitch break and a change in pitch, uh, let's just look at that here. Uh, let's say it's it's like a mansard roof or something like that. So we'll go, this is maybe uh, 12 and 12 uh, as a standard uh, pitch, and then maybe it flattens off after it gets to a certain point. Uh, so in there, I'm going to actually add another pitch. I'm going to say pitch 1 starts at 0. Pitch do, 2, let's say, starts at 5 feet up. And pitch 2, let's make that uh, 1 in 12. Um, and then when we say OK, you can see that that whole thing drops down to that 1 and 12 height, but here's that lower height. Uh, it's, it's sort of a bit of a guess and check in terms of where that actually happens. <coughs> but that's essentially um, all there is to that pitch break um, uh, and changing that pitch. Uh, now you can uh, adjust this globally because it's a multi-plane roof. Uh, we could say that this is uh, maybe like a 3 and 12 or 4 and 12 or something like that. Um, drop this down. Something more like that. Um, and then you could even add a gable end. So let's, uh, let's say that this was, uh, we'll add another one in there. And let's just say that this is also 3 and 12. And sometimes it's easier to pick these out in floor plan. Um, so there's that first pitch break. A bit of guess and check here. So that's at one, two, there we go. There's that upper piece. Um, unfortunately, it is a lot of times this guess and check because it likes to uh, uh, hide those either inside or outside the, the geometry of the roof. Um, but now I've got that extra pitch break right there that you could see. So having that in there, I can then adjust and add gable ends to this and modify it further. Um, so there's there's a lot of ways that you can uh, play around with and tweak these, these pitches. It also works the opposite way. Uh, this whole thing might get thrown off there, but I could say that the lower pitch is 3 and 12, and everything above that is, uh, say, 6 and 12. Um, and there you can see the, the pitch breaks all get messed up. Um, so I have to come into the floor plan and try and pick up where those went to, uh, probably well outside the, the range. So let's start here at 1 and go 1.25 and see if that gives them. Yeah, there we go. Uh, you can also make these changes in a floor plan um, and add those gable ends. You can obviously adjust the, uh, the geometry of this roof as well, adding additional uh, pieces to, to hip and valley around. Um, but that's, that's essentially how you create those pitch breaks, whether it starts off flat and becomes steeper uh, or starts off steep and becomes lower. Uh, it's sort of a, a bit of a guess and check game until you get it uh, uh, put, finally put in. And then you can adjust those pitch break locations uh, using the PET palette, either in floor plan uh, or in 3D.